in second place, Crystal Palace Football Club. That's kind of our, our aim, like I said, not, not every one of these players is going to be a professional football player. But what we can try and affect is every one of these players being a good person. Um, and every one of these players being successful in whatever they um, end up doing in life. And it's our job to teach them how to be professional. So along the way there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be harsh lessons. Um, and I think the clever ones will make a mistake and they'll learn from it. The not so clever ones might make a couple of mistakes, but we have to be patient with them. We have to continue to, to, um, to set boundaries and make sure when they step across these boundaries that we drag them back in and we teach them. There's lots of teachable moments every single day, every single week in the, in the academy um, system. So, yeah, listen, it's, it's a challenging role, um, but the success is when, when they leave, leave me, um, and you can tell that you've made a, a tiny impact. If you can make a tiny impact with, it, in, with them as a person um, or a player, then, then that's, a, that's a real sort of great, great feeling for me as a coach. Fantastic talent on show, uh, but really more importantly, desire and hunger and, and fight, you know, and that's what we want from our boys. Even if they don't make it as a professional footballer, to look back and say, that was a fantastic experience for me. And if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I enjoyed every minute of it and it was beneficial to me as a person. That's the aim of the academy going forward. Yeah, we, we had tours like this. Um, and again, playing against different opposition will prepare you for what, what's, what lies ahead. Ultimately, in every league in England, you have, it's multicultural now. So there's players from across the globe. Uh, every every division from League Two right the way up to the Premier League. It's a year on, and every year you get wiser, don't you? Yeah. More experienced, older, mature, and that's what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? And that's what, that's what you've got to do to survive in, survive in this game. Because mm -hmm. okay? if you want to get better, every you have to add something to your mentality, to your technique, to your tactics. But ultimately, this, it's going to be the same. It's just work hard, work hard, work hard. Wherever you are in that week or in that moment or in that season, okay, it's the consistency. That, that keeps you there. Whatever gets thrown here, we've all got to bounce back. All right? Good stuff. It's been, it's been amazing really, yeah. especially just to get out now, just seeing, seeing uh, the town in Israel, it's been really good in Jerusalem, um, obviously all the tight streets, it's really historic and it's, it looks really good, but uh, we've done well in the tournament, um, coming out second overall, so yeah, I'm proud of the boys, we've done really well. Over the whole tour, especially spending every day with each other, everyone's got closer together and bonded well, so I think that's shown on the pitch as well. Massive achievement, especially with such of a young team. When we've seen the team sheet, there's lots of 2001s in other other um, teams, and we've got a lot of 03s, 02s, and a couple of 04s, including myself. So yeah, 
Um, so yeah, been really, really good to have this part. Nice one, Jack. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Good stuff.